Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about three triangle theorems. Uh, one is called the triangle longer side theorem, one is the triangle larger angle theorem, those two kind of go together, and then lastly the triangle inequality theorem, okay? So for the first two, the triangle longer side theorem um, basically just means the longer the side, the longer or the larger the opposite angle. So if we look at our diagram over here, triangle ABC, we see that side AB is 10 and we see side BC is four. So since AB is greater than BC, then the angles that are opposite will also have the same relationship, right? So the measure of angle C will be greater than the measure of angle A, okay? So now the triangle larger angle theorem basically says the same thing, but now we're given the angle measures first. So the larger the angle, the longer the opposite side. So we see that angle A has a measure of 55 degrees, angle C has a measure of 30 degrees. So since the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle C, that will lead to the opposite sides having that same relationship. So we're gonna say that BC is greater than AB, okay? All right, now for the last theorem, the triangle inequality theorem. So with this one it says the sum of any two sides of the triangle has to be greater than the length of the third side. So we see three examples of this here. The first one works, it gives us a triangle. Because we see we have five plus three would be eight, eight is greater than seven. If we added seven and five, that's 12, 12 is greater than three. And if we add seven and three, that's 10, and 10 is greater than five. So we're all good there, okay? But on the next one, we see if we add these two sides, we only get six, right? And six is not greater than seven. So you can see how our triangle doesn't connect there. And the last one, we can add three and four to get seven. Uh, but seven is equal to seven, so that doesn't satisfy our inequality theorem. So once again, our two sides won't connect, okay? So let's look at an example of what this might look like. It says a triangle has side lengths six and 15. What could the length of the third side be? So they don't tell us if 15 is the longest side, they just say it's one of the sides. So we have to account for two examples here. So we could say um, 15 is the longest side, so that means, uh, let's say six is one of our sides and we don't know the other side. Also, 15 could be um, maybe our, our middle side, right? Our, not our longest side. So we'd have to find the longest side and we know the other side would be six. So now we can set up a couple inequalities here to figure out the range of what our values for X could be. So for the, the smaller one on the left, we would say X plus six has to be greater than 15. So now we subtract six and we get X has to be greater than nine, okay? So X needs to be greater than nine because nine and six would be 15 and um, we know that that would not work. So we need it to be greater than nine, okay? And on the last one over here, we're gonna say 15 and six needs to be greater than our other side because that's gonna be our longest side. So we're gonna say 21 is greater than X or we could flip that and say X um, just has to be less than 21, okay? So now we have two answers here, and notice they're both inequalities. We could write that together as one and compound inequality. So we could write our smaller number on the left, larger number on the right, put our variable in the middle, and now we just fill in our inequality symbols. So X needs to be less than 21, X is greater than nine, and so there is our final answer, okay? So our possible side length needs to be greater than nine and less than 21.